Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial. Let's learn how to make this puffer jacket, puffer pants, and cropped top in CLO 3D. You can use Marvelous Designer as well. Bring an avatar from library. Create your pattern with Polygon Tool. For curve points hold down Ctrl key on your keyboard. Right click on the edge of the pattern and select Unfold Symmetric Editing with Sewing. Make a copy of the pattern with Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. Adjust the new pattern's position in the 3D window and put it behind Avatar. Right click on it and select Flip Horizontally. Start sewing with Segment Sewing Tool. Check your sewings from the 3D window and make sure none of them are reversed. Simulate, space key on your keyboard or the little arrow in the corner of the 3D window. Decrease the skin offset and increase the friction amount. Right-click on this pattern and select Removed Linked Editing. Now create the lines that you want with Internal Polygon Tool. For curve points hold down Ctrl key on your keyboard. Hold down Shift key to select more than one internal line segment. Then right-click and select Offset as Internal Line. Check Reverse Direction box and then click on OK. Do the same with the other internal line. This time uncheck the Reverse Direction box. Right-click on the other pattern and select Remove Linked Editing. Click four times on one of the internal line's points or segments to select all of them. Then, hit Ctrl plus C to copy and then Ctrl plus R to mirror paste. Again click four times on an internal line segment, select all of them, right-click and select Cut and Sew. Do this for both patterns. Simulate. Now you can edit the pattern in the way that you want. You can also delete points or segments with Delete key on your keyboard. If you have any questions comment them down below, smiley face. Hold down Shift key and select these two segments, right-click and select Offset as Internal Line. Select OK and while the internal lines are still selected right-click and select Cut and Sew. Add a fabric and bring down its opacity to zero. Select these patterns while holding down Shift key and assign them to the new fabric. You can create more cutouts by adding more internal lines than cutting and sewing them. It's easier to assign an opacity zero to a pattern instead of deleting it. Edit the points in the way that you want. Do the same with the back pattern. Add a new fabric. Let's make the jacket. Since I want this puffer to be oversized, I need to make it a little bit bigger. Hold down Ctrl key on your keyboard for curve points. Ctrl plus D for symmetric pattern. Now Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V to make a copy for the back and adjust its 3D position. Right-click on it and select Flip Horizontally. So the segments. Right-click on this edge and select Merge to turn them into one pattern. Edit the back pattern's points. Simulate, space key on your keyboard or the little arrow in the corner of the 3D window.
Create a rectangle. Right-click on this edge and select Split, then select Uniform Split and click on OK. Now move the point a little, right-click and convert into a curve point. When you select the pattern with the Transform tool, you can double-click on the middle point to activate Pivot. Now if you scale the pattern up it will get bigger from all directions. Again right-click on this edge, select Split and split it in half, so the sleeves with Segment Sewing tool. Check your sewings from the 3D window so none of them are reversed. Turn on Arrangement Points in the 3D window and put the sleeve around Avatar's arm. Adjust sleeve's length and then simulate. So the two parts of the sleeve with Segment Sewing tool. Simulate. Control plus D for symmetric pattern. By liking this video and subscribing to my channel you will support me a lot, smiley face. Create a simple rectangle for the collar. Right-click on it and select Flip Horizontally. Select the Segment Sewing tool and hold down Shift key to sew one part to more than one part, smiley face. If you made any mistakes in the middle of sewing, you can hit backspace on your keyboard to go back. For the pants, first make a simple rectangle. This is for the waist part of the pants. Turn on arrangement points and put it around Avatar's waist. So the two parts and simulate. Right-click on the jacket patterns and deactivate them. Now let's make the main part of the pants. I'm making it a little bigger than usual since it's oversized. With Edit Curvature tool, add a little curve. Edit the pants however you want, then Ctrl plus D to create a symmetric pattern. Now Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V to make a copy for the back and adjust its 3D position. Right-click on it and select Flip Horizontally. Select the Segment Sewing tool and hold down Shift key to sew one part to more than one part, smiley face. If you made any mistakes in the middle of sewing, you can hit backspace on your keyboard to go back. So the other parts regularly. Simulate. I edited some of the points to make the pants look better. Select the jacket patterns, right click and activate them and then simulate. Now I'm going to add a referenced photo to create the puffer pattern, I'll link the image in the description. Scale the texture up and rotate it 90 degrees. If you right click when you're rotating the texture, a window will pop open and you can rotate in a specific angle. Keep scaling and also moving the texture until you're satisfied with the pattern. You need to be on Thick Textured Surface or Textured Surfaced to see the texture in the 3D window. Now trace those patterns with the internal polygon tool, Smiley Face. Control key for curve points. Delete the texture, and if you made any mistakes with a curve point fix that. With the Transform tool select the internal line and move it a bit then hit Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus R to copy the internal line and mirror paste it. Then hit Ctrl plus V to make a regular copy of the internal line. 
Now select all the internal line by holding down Shift key or double clicking on one of them. Then again, Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V to make a copy of the internal lines for the back patterns. Do the same for the jacket, then right click and select Extend slash Trim to pattern outline. Same goes for the sleeves. I had a little empty space so I made a copy of the original internal lines, smiley face. You can also select all of the internal lines in one pattern and scale them up. Select the jacket patterns and change their layer number to 1 so it stays on top of the cropped top dot then simulate. Here I realized I accidentally deleted one of the internal lines so I fixed that really quick. Don't forget to add the internal lines to back patterns. Now select the pants and the jacket, then right click and select layer clone over. Right click on the new patterns and select remove linked editing, sometimes you need to do it twice. Freeze the under layer patterns. While the new patterns are still selected change the pressure to a positive number. Simulate then scale up the over layered patterns to make the jacket and the pants more puffy. Unfreeze the under layered patterns and change the pressure number to a negative one. The number should be the number you gave to the overlayered patterns but this time negative. Simulate. You can scale up the overlayer patterns to make the puffers more puffy again, smiley face. Select all the patterns and bring down the particle distance to see the details better. You can change some of the fabric details. Lowering the stretch means the fabric will be more stretchy. The same goes with the bending options. If you have any questions comment them down below, smiley face. Change the fabric's color. You can change the roughness and metalness and reflection intensity of the fabric as well. I made a copy of the first fabric and assigned some of the cropped tops pattern to it just so we can have multiple colors. Change avatar's pose. Change avatar's pose. I like how it looks, but I think we can add some top stitch to the internal lines, so let's do that really quick. Increase the thread thickness in the top stitch property editor. Now, with the segment top stitch tool, add top stitch to the internal lines. Also put the top stitch offset on zero. Interactive render again, smiley face. For the color of the top stitch, I'm going to go for a darker green because it will be more visible. You can change the background color and texture from image slash video property and also the lighting from light properties. Thank you for watching. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. By liking this video and subscribing to my channel, you will help me a lot. Smiley face.